Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to After Effects Beginners Tutorial Series. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Now if you haven't watched the previous part, I would totally recommend it. So you can click here to watch it right now or you can click the link in the description below. Now let's talk about keyframe interpolation and keyframe easing. Now this is a very important topic because it will help you in creating more smooth animation and you will have more control on your keyframes. First let's understand what is interpolation. Now in After Effects you only define the starting and the end keyframe and all the values that are in between these two keyframes are calculated by After Effects. So this is called interpolation. Now there are two type of interpolation. One is spatial, other is temporal. The spatial interpolation is related to the object's motion path. So using this, you can create smooth curves and you can change the path of the object and it will animate according to that. Now in temporal interpolation, you basically play around with the time. So you can increase the time between two keyframes to make them smooth or you can decrease them to make them fast. Now all this sounds very confusing, but once we start using After Effects and you will understand this clearly. Now let's understand keyframe interpolation and easing in After Effects. So over here you can see I have already created a square. So it is simply a shape layer. You can create that by using the rectangle tool. And now I'm going to animate its position. So you remember the shortcut for position is P. So I can press P on the keyboard. And again, if you remember, you can add a keyframe by simply clicking on this stopwatch and it will add a keyframe over here. So by default, it will always add a linear keyframe, which is represented by this diamond. So whenever you see a diamond keyframe, you will understand that it's a linear keyframe. Now let's move our timeline indicator to one second and I'm going to select the square and I'm going to move it somewhere around here. After that, I'm going to move my timeline indicator to two seconds. And again, I'm going to select the square and move it somewhere around here so that we have this sort of animation. Now I'm going to play it so you can see we have this kind of animation. Now I want my animation to play only this region so I can do that by simply moving my indicator to wherever I want and after that I can press N on the keyboard so that it will move this end point. So I can just manually move it to wherever I want. I can just simply place it over here and now if I play back by pressing the space key you can see that it will play only this region. Now you will notice that all the intermediate keyframes that are over here these are automatically created by after effects and if you zoom in you will notice that along this line we have these small dots and these all these dots represent the position of the square and if i move it slowly you can see that the square is moving along these dots and all these dots are spaced equally so you can see that all these are in a linear constant form now let's understand the keyframe interpolation but before that make sure you have this option checked so go to edit under preferences go to general and under that make sure that the default spatial interpolation is set to linear so yours might be unchecked just check it and then click on ok so again we have this path and i can select all the keyframes and if i right click you can see we have this option called keyframe interpolation and i can go under this panel so from here we can see we have the linear keyframe interpolation so I can just simply click on that and from here I can choose whatever I want. So let's say let's go with the page here and if I click on OK. Now you will notice one thing that still the keyframes are linear that these are represented by the diamond shape but the path of our object has changed. So now you can see that it has a smooth curve like this and again you can edit them by simply clicking and you can just move them like this and you can play around with them just like this and you can create different type of paths so now if i play back here you can see now our object is following the path again you will notice one thing that the distance between these points or these dots is still the same so we can change that by simply moving the keyframe so now we are changing the time that is we have changed the time of this keyframe so we are changing the temporal interpolation now you will notice that the distance between these points is very large as compared to these points now these are very close to each other 
so now if i play back here you can see that our animation is starting very quickly and after that when it reaches to this part it slows down just like this so this is how you can change the interpolation now you don't always have to select the keyframes then go to the interpolation and do all this you can simply do that by selecting the keyframe and you can go to the pen tool and if you click and hold you can see we have different type of options we are going to select this convert for text tool so if you click on that now you can move to any point and you can just simply click and drag and now you can see that it will automatically start creating these handles so these are exactly the same handles and if i let it go now i can create the handles on here as well just like this and i can do the same thing on this keyframe as well so now if i play back here you can see we have created this and our object is following that so this is the end of part 7 and in part 8 you will learn about keyframe easing now the upcoming parts are very important because they will help you in creating smooth animation and they will also help you to have more control on your keyframes you can click here to watch part 8 or you can click the link in the description below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one